scored 61 off just 30 deliveries in their second performance of the summer as far as the 2020 season is concerned. That was a awesome room here for Gale. He takes this one deep. It won't go all the way on the full, but it gets to the boundary comfortably. He gives himself some room this time over the top of slip for four runs. It's a short one and crunches it off his hip. A couple of bounces and into the rope. Yeah. Doesn't go for the earring ball. This is massive. What a hit. Boy, that is big. And then some. Up in the second deck of the Gabba. We know he loves it wide of mid on. We've seen it many times. That, that was a beauty. Geez, hit that hard. That was going at a rate of knots. He's absolutely smashed that. It's like one of my drives today at Hay Byland, but Jesus hit the middle. That's about 100 metres on the fly to where he's hit it in the upper deck. Had that continued on, that was going another 20 or 30 metres comfortably. Boy, that's one of the biggest ones we've seen in the summer. Full, and this one is being dispatched as well. That's a homer too. That's a baseball shot. A full toss, and he's flat batted it straight over mid off. He's in the zone tonight, Chris Gale. He's raising money for the flood relief as well. That's two grand. A thousand to six. And I reckon it's got that on the bottom of the bat. Probably did too. It didn't go in the top row, did it? Six fours and two sixes hit so far. The sixes, as we said, courtesy of Lion Nathan, worth $1,000. And the sixes, the fours, worth $500. So we've had uh, $5,000 already. That ball raised. is hurting too. That ball is hurting. Oh, that ball will need a Panadol. Three and a half grand so far for Chris Gale. Some room again! <laughs> Anything that travels that far should have a flight attendant. <laughs> That's up the third deck. Is it went up the second row? This is up the third tier of the Gabba. Oh, look out. Put your helmet on up in the top row. My goodness, that is a monster. Look at that. That is right out of the screws. I think it was a slower ball, wasn't it? But that has been met. That's it. That's the biggest one in the competition. Chris Gale. That's his zone wide a bit on. Another one over the head of mid-off this time, just a regulation garden variety four. What is Gives himself some room. There he goes again. Nobody out there in the gap going back. Feldman had a look at it, or was it Michael Lum? It was Lum, in fact, and it pitched just inside the rope. Well, he had no chance there, Michael Lum, because he was running in. He ran in and then he ran back and around. It wasn't out of the middle of the bat from Chris Gale. Thought straight up in the air, this is going to be out. There's two men back getting underneath it. But Michael Lund came in and then ran back. Just inside the rope. Well, it's like he's down at the driving range, just doing a bit of practice with a three-wood now. Lund out there. He's also hanging back in the back foot now. He knows he's going to cop short. So they do have to mix it up. Cutting in the slot, and there it goes. He just keeps racking them up. What a display this is, and he brings up his 50. West Indian Magic here at the Gabba. That is the 50 up for Chris Gale in 20 deliveries. Outstanding stuff. And that's the fastest 50 of the competition. And uh, well, that's just been unbelievable hitting of a cricket ball. He possesses so much power, and all of a sudden now, you, the, the bowl's got no idea what to do. The pitch is good. Chris Gale going deep. A man out there on the boundary rope. It's over his head. Remington couldn't reach that, and the 100 comes up for the Warriors in fine style. I don't reckon Chris Gale's caught this anywhere near the middle. It's just brute force swing of the bat towards the bottom but he just gets enough on it 17 and Gale on strike and here he goes again 
Rack up another thousand dollars for the flood relief appeal. The Sixers are raining down on the Gabba. Well, Chris Gale, he gave himself a bit of room. Ben Cunning went for the stumps. And in the end, he just came down nicely and timed it. Look at that, he wasn't really in the right position to hit it. But he's just timed it beautifully over mid on. Well, he's hanging back with the field that's been set. He's thinking, well, everything's going to be short. But uh, hanging back, and then he's such a powerful player, he can still get the ball down the ground, 80, 90 metres. Oh, look at the Kookaburra fly. Beautiful catch up there on uh, the first tier. But what about Chris Gale? Another one, number six for the Big West Indian. It's like watching the home run derby, isn't it? Out of the States. The ball's just disappearing in the crowd at will. This is a long way back as well. We'll come back to the... Up, up and away, straight down the ground. As flat as you like for another six. That is just beautifully hit. You may be thinking the handle's broken, and it wouldn't surprise me because he's dug it out flat and straight. Yeah, that's a crowd killer too. For the middle of the bat. Slow ball this time, he waited on it, the hooks it down behind square. All the men on the boundary on the leg side are in front of square because that's where he's been clubbing them. And there was nobody within 50 metres to try and cut that off. 92 now for Chris Gale from 39 deliveries, the record for the fastest 100. 47 deliveries from David Hussey. So he is on track at the moment. It becomes just the fifth man to score 100 in the big bash. Knees are again and edge and Gale is gone. As he comes to the boundary, everybody and the members here at the gather on their feet.